Okay, we're still at CES. We're at the Wynn Resort. And you ever notice that when you bought, when you look at all those HD TVs, those flat screens in the store, they've got a gorgeous picture on them. But sometimes when you get them home, they don't look quite the same because the picture that you get at home isn't that pristine quality that's being fed into it on the showroom floor. Well, this is Jed Deem, who's the Vice President of Technology for Silicon Optics, and he's the guy behind the beautiful picture even when you get it home. Elaborate on that for us, Jed. Absolutely. Uh, what we focus on here at Silicon Optics is taking everyday TV and making it look as best as we possibly can. Whether it's a uh, standard definition DVD or a cable feed or a satellite feed, it's never going to be as pristine as you see on the show floor. So with our technology, which is called HQV, we take those images and just make them look beautiful. And that's essentially what we're showing yeah. here at this demonstration. This is a 1080p plasma display, and it's taking a standard definition DVD. Here you can see there's noise in the image, uh, there's compression artifacts, and we're cleaning those up on the right side here. So the image that you see on this display will look as good as it would look in the theater, even with the standard definition content coming in. Kind of garbage in, garbage out if you don't, even, no matter how good your display is, if it doesn't have this technology built into it, you might not be getting the best possible image coming out of it. Yeah, that's exactly right. And that's the whole idea behind HTV. It, it leverages technology that we developed in a professional video chain. We've been providing systems to the high-end post-production houses and broadcasters around the world for the last six years. So we've taken this technology, shrunk it down into a single chip, and now it's available for TVs and DVD players and any type of consumer electronics. Okay, but this is kind of like a, a little square that's on the box, and not everybody's going to recognize that. How does the average consumer find out what sets that are out there that have the HQV chip in it? Okay, well, definitely look for the HQV logo. Uh, you will either be on the box or on the display. But the other thing you can do is you can go to our website, which is hqv.com, there's a list of all the products there. And very soon there'll be a list of different reviews and you'll be able to pick the different types of products and, and see how they score our products, the competitors' products, and, and check out how they rate using a benchmark DVD that we've developed in conjunction with the uh, electronics industry and the magazine. And how do they get that DVD? The DVD is available at the website as well, hqv.com for a nominal fee. Okay. Now, what happens, I got, I've already gone out, I've gotten my nice flat screen TV, I'm in love with it, and all of a sudden I realize there's this difference that's very important. What can I do as somebody who's already got one that doesn't have an HQV chip in it? Okay, well that's a good question. If you've already got a display and you're not happy with the quality, there are a few ways around it. You can actually buy an AV receiver uh, from companies like Denon or Onkyo that have a chip inside. Plug your video source into that. That'll give you HQV quality. You can buy a DVD player, like this one from Samsung that have a chip inside. That'll give you that quality on a standard definition def DVD. Or we're also coming out with some partners with a small box that will give you an instant HQV added to any system with any input. Now some things will be available in the next couple months. That's amazing. Okay, so these are the guys behind the beautiful picture. Jed, thank you very much. Have a good CES. Thank you very much. Okay.